<laughs> it just kind of like falls. Whoa. Even the drop is pretty chill. Whoa. Wow! Hello everyone, what is going on? My name is Anubi Warrior and welcome to the Apocalypse. That's right, Apocalypse Save Us is out. Uh, this is Dreamcatcher Day, obviously. Uh, I decided the way I'm going to try and do this album is I'm going to try and record up to the skit, or maybe through the skit. So this video, assuming it doesn't get blocked, will be intro, locked inside a door, starlight together, always, and the seven doors skit. Although if it's a skit, I'm assuming the narration's important, and so if it's in Korean, then I might have to wait until I have subs or translation or something. So not sure if I'm going to do the skit in this video or not. Uh, and then what I'll do for the solos is I'll probably wait for lyric videos and do them one at a time. So this is like part one, well it's part two if you count the MV, but part one of the album or B-sides reaction, part two of the album reaction. Anyway, it's going to be a good time. I'm so excited. We have so much Dreamcatcher stuff to get to still. So much to get to. Uh, Maison was uh, really good. It, it was pretty different in terms of, I think, that chorus that at least the bass line and the guitar part kind of carries through the whole song so there's this consistent energy instead of like normal builds and and this normally dreamcatcher songs have this kind of masterful like jump up and down in energy and here and there but here it just kind of felt like constant 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 um but i i liked it um it's not my favorite dreamcatcher title track ever but i definitely enjoyed it i think it's really good i appreciate the switch up and Dami absolutely went ham. So, we will not be reacting to Maison in this video. This video, like I said, we're going to start with the intro. And then we will probably go through the skit. And then you'll have to wait. So, you want to see my reaction to all the solos? I will be posting them as soon as I can. Uh, maybe all today. Maybe they'll bleed over into tomorrow. So, please subscribe. Turn the bell on so you know when I do post those. Go save us. Organ. I hear organ. I hear war drums. The organ and the war drums. Very apocalyptic. Now a choir. Yup. This is setting up the apocalypse nicely, I think. Now we're in the apocalypse. <laughs> okay. Ooh. There's some, uh, there's some funk there. There's some jazz there. Some of the, some of that brass. Some of that brass, though. Interesting. Interesting. What an interesting intro. The beginning is very kind of, um, like gothic horror Christian apocalypse, right? The chorals, the big church organ sound, um, very dramatic, and then the strings, but then there's like someone popping a tape out, and then we go to, uh, more of like a, uh, like a harder urban R&B sound, or, or R&B, uh, like a, like a harder urban hip-hop sound. Uh, it conjured up, like, Mad Max imagery in my mind when we went to that beat. Just kind of, you know, like, some edgy, like, let's go. Um, which is interesting. So, and then what I did not expect was the kind of brass notes and the funk notes to come through at the end. So, curious if that is indicative of the solo. This is wild because this is basically a, a very long mini-album. 
with solos for every member attached to the end of it. So it's like a full album, but it's really like a mini album. And then there's even like a skit separating it with solos. So yeah, let's listen. I'm curious. I'm assuming that intro is only kind of giving us notes of the mini album, the first seven, six songs. So we'll see. First piece, I locked inside a door. Feel like I locked inside the door. Ooh. Staccato piano. Ooh. Okay. Yo. We're starting to get groovy. We're starting to get groovy. Immediate like. Ooh. Ooh. We're entering, yeah, funk rock territory. Ah! <laughs> I was not expecting what? <laughs> ah. And then we all we strip it back to the pretty vocal line with just with just the staccato piano. Oh! Okay, I'm sorry. I'm talking over. I can't. That's a crime to talk over that. It's cool because it's like we go into this big kind of. You know, this this crescendo, this boom, 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 boom. And then we kind of strip it back to where we started. And it's back to just the one vocal line with just the bum, 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 just the staccato piano. Pretty slide down. Okay. I love the screech up of that guitar. <laughs> Pretty. I love these. Dum, 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 dum. Very round, soft vocals in the back. Slide. Oh, the belting. Oh. oh, cool new material. The Oh, this is so kind of soulful. This is soulful. This is groovy. This is like groovy funk rock. With some soul in there. What on earth? Be like the locked inside door. There's there's some like absolute swing to that. Feel like I'm locked inside a door. Da -da 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 -da. It's so oh, it's fun. It, this is a really fun song. First B side, first hit. What a surprise! Really fun, really fun. Fun to hear like a soulful, like groovy, funky rock sound a little bit. That's fun. Onto Starlight. Let's go.
Like I said, skipping the title. Because we already reacted to it. <clears throat> Ooh! Kind of like an 80s synth face here. Not in love with this immediately. Oh, I do love the stutter in. Hold on. Okay. I mean, it's pretty. The singing is really pretty. I just, I'm not a huge fan of this style of synths. So, you have to be picky about how you use them for me to really like it. And I'm not sure where I sit on this. <clears throat> it's just so repetitive is the problem. Like... All the all the members sound good on it. Obviously though. Oh. That harmony is gorgeous. That harmony is gorgeous. Okay, so I'm always going to be honest with you guys. That's the point of this channel is for me to talk about music and how I feel. Um, that one, I'm not going to like. Uh, I think... I don't hate it. It's not a... I don't think it's a skip. But I also am not going to seek it out or put it on any playlist or anything. Um, that one, it's just the instrumentation is so repetitive. And a lot of it is stylistically, I'm not a fan of the kind of shiny 80s synths retro sound. Um, that's like my least favorite electronic production sound ever. And I, there has to be enough kind of built around that, added to that. Um, they even went with like the traditional 80s style of mixing the vocals way behind those synths. Which I'm also not a fan of. Those of you who know me know I like my vocals very far forward. Um, I like my vocals center of the mix. And uh, yeah, so from, from an engineering perspective, I'm not really a fan of it either. And it's just too repetitive for me. So I don't think it's a skip. It might even be a skip. It's close to being a skip. Like even if I listen to Apocalypse Save Us, this one might be a skip. I'm really not feeling that. The members sounded really good, but once again, they're too far back in the mix. Oh, so, you know, I, 
Especially, I think, if you have instruments that just repeat and aren't doing as many interesting things, then it's more important to have the vocalist forward. Whereas if the instruments are doing less interesting things, or if the instruments are doing more interesting things, then it's less important to have the, the voices forward. Anyway, point being, the voices were supposed to be the interesting part of that song, and they were buried in the middle of the synths, which were not interesting at all. So, that's how I feel. Um, let's get o let's get o let's go on to together. Ooh. This sounds pretty. Ooh. I'm digging this so far. Ooh. Ooh. That's so much more subtle than I thought it would be. This is cool. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like this one. I like this one. I love the, the repeat. This is vocally really pretty, and there's cool stuff going on with the samples. I like these little pockets. It's a, it's just a really good place for that melody to sit. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of this one for sure. I love how subtle this is. It just kind of like falls. Whoa. Even the drop is pretty chill. Oh, that ball! Oh, that ball! Oh, dude, uh, this! That slide down! This is really fun to listen to. Ooh, the bass much richer now. Much deeper. This is really nice. That's really good. That one is really good. That's super fun. It, it's it's very kind of low key. Even like the drop 
it kind of drops to kind of low key, chill, kind of um, very kind of uh, like a trendy sound. It, there's like really fun samples in this, and the vocals are really pretty. Just, just the relationship between that. Just the relationship, even between like the two samples playing off each other. It's like, it all feels really rhythmically stacked together in a cool way. Um, and the vocals are really pretty because, of course, they are. And I can actually hear them, unlike in Starlight, where they are buried in the back of the song and they are silent by comparison to the loud, repetitive synths. <laughs> um. On to always. Let's go. Ballad? Ballad? I'm assuming ballad. are so breathy listen to all that air you, it's almost like she's not even singing it's almost like she's not even singing because you can almost just see it's almost like she's just exhaling normally that's crazy it's so breathy That's pretty. That's very pretty. Wow. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Mm. Every vocal on this song is so breathy. Creates such a light sound for these slides. Like these melodies are just drifting through the wind. Oh. 
ほほほ。哇哦！哇！ This song. Right around here, actually, right around here. Basically, after the three-minute mark, we go from these really breathy, like you're just like, just like wisps of air beautifully floating through. Right about the three-minute mark, we transition, and the the vocals get moved forward in the mix. They're more intimate vocals. And they're sung much stronger, with much less air, and so it creates like this big change up at that three minute mark. And it's you still have the breathy vocals in the background, but the main melody becomes so much more robust.、Uh, and that that really is a pretty switch up. That really is a pretty switch up. Wow, yeah, that's my favorite one so far.、Uh, let's listen to Skit the Seven Doors. I'm guessing it will have Korean narration, so I'm gonna have to find a translation or something. But we'll give it a listen since we're here anyway. I don't want to just cram it into the GU video, so. Hear the forlorn wind. Maybe there's no narration. What a soundscape! What a soundscape! Oh, this is great! They called this a skit, but this is more like an interlude. When I think skit, I just think people talking. That's dope. That's dope. Ooh, birds. There's an almost organy sound back. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. I actually really like that one. Okay, well I'm glad I listened to it. No, it's not a narration. I've never seen the word skit in something that has no lyrics before. <laughs> I've never seen the word skit applied to something that has no lyrics before.、Um, but here we are. That's great, though. That's really good. <laughs> That's really good. So what I'll do is because I kind of feel like the album is 
I kind of feel like the album is, uh, like this is almost the, the mini album, or was gonna be the mini album, and then they're like, let's do the solos thing. Um, I think I'm gonna score, or like rank these guys and talk about them and review these eight tracks, these seven tracks, I clipped too many. What, what did I do? I broke everything? Why didn't I break everything? Um, I think I'm just gonna do these. See if I can actually click my mouse. That'd be pretty neat if I could click my mouse, huh? Um, okay. I think I'm just gonna grab these seven and kind of review them and talk about them in this video. And then, like I said, we'll kind of treat each of the solos as their own thing with their own video. Um, so, right away, uh, the more I think about it, the more I think Starlight's a skip. I've heard a lot of retro K-pop um, in the past couple of years i think like mid 2020 it started really 2020 was it the end of 2020 maybe it was like early 2021 i've heard a lot of retro k-pop this is not one of the finest examples in my opinion um plus the vocals are really really mixed in a way that i'm not a fan of not bad i'm not saying it's poor mixing it's just the more interesting your instruments the more i want the vocals to the more I'm okay with the vocals being back, but the less interesting your instruments, the less switch-ups your instrumentation has, the more I want the vocals forward, and they had super boring, repetitive instrumentation, and the vocals were way back, so I couldn't even hear the vocals, which were supposed to be the interesting, cool part. So, yeah, this one's actually going to be a skip. I think even when I sit down to listen to this whole project, this one's a skip. So we use the red pen, sad face. Um... I just, I've heard so much retro K-pop, and this is, like, not a great example of it, and I hate the vocal mixing, so. Yep. Uh, that out of the way. There's no mess. We don't need the blue pen today. Green pen. Green pen. This is the fun part. So, we're not really gonna s compare the intro and the skit to the songs, but I will just make little green dots next to them, because I really, really liked. You know what? We will, actually. We'll just make a smiley face. We'll just make a smiley face by the skit, because I actually loved this skit. I actually loved this skit outro transition interlude thing. Um, really, really nice. Uh, the intro was nice as well. Dreamcatcher intros are always good every single time. They're cool. They're interesting. Um, Locked Inside a Door was amazing. I really liked this one. This one was like my second favorite. This one was my second favorite. Um... Yeah. When I think about... Like, Together was fun. Always is my favorite, even more than the title track, I think. Which I do like it going for something different for them, pacing-wise. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna say the honorable mentions are... Locked Inside a Door and Maison. And the favorite is always. What a gorgeous, gorgeous ballad. Or not ballad, but slow song. I don't know if it's a ballad per se. Um, this one, absolute favorite. Incredible song. So pretty. The, tr the transitions, the way it kind of worked itself through the song. Really, really pretty. Uh, together was nice. It was nice. Um, so I guess I'm, I'm ranking the five songs here because there's intro, outro. Uh, favorite is always. Second would be Locked Inside a Door. This song is really good. Really good. Really fun to listen to. Love the kind of funk sound. Love kind of the soulful intro. Really, 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 really fun to listen to. Something different. Something that lets their vocals pop off. Really nice. Um, and then third would be Maison. Okay. So it's always locked inside a door, maison, then together, and then last is obviously the skip, which is Starlight. Um, not a terrible song, nothing egregiously wrong with it. I just, it's it's nothing remarkable, nothing super interesting, nothing I feel compelled to listen to. Um, I'd much rather hear the intro or the skit <laughs> than that song for sure. Um, so yeah, that's my thoughts on the first half of Dreamcatcher's Apocalypse Save Us. I cannot wait to get to the solos. Obviously, this was dope. New Dreamcatcher music is always dope, always exciting. But 
the kind of marquee thing, the thing that everyone's excited for, talking about, hyped for, the thing we're all wondering about is Dreamcatcher solos, right? So that's what I'm going to be doing next, and I want to give each of those their own video. So if you want to see my reactions to all those, please consider subscribing, click like, turn notifications bell on, uh, leave me a comment. How do you feel about the song ranking in the first half? Uh, tell me your ranking. What's your favorite? What's your least favorite? Maybe your favorite Starlight and you hate always. Let me know. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. My name's the Newbie Warrior. I love Dreamcatcher. Uh, and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And please remember to stay newbie. Big thank you to everyone who supported me this month on Patreon with special appreciation going to Wookbook, Daniel Reigns, Muse Ribbons, Nex, Lucky 7 Gen, 42 Ariadna, Atsushi Ray H, Dwight, Mushroomy, Jalen Raybon, and Louise Zaco.